To write the formula for calcium chlorate, we'll go to the periodic table and look up calcium, that's Ca, and then chlorate, we won't find that on the periodic table, it's a polyatomic ion. You can tell because it ends in A-T-E. So we look that up on a table of common polyatomic ions, it's ClO3 minus. Since we have a metal here, calcium, and then this chlorate is made up of nonmetals. We have a metal and nonmetals. That's an ionic compound. So we need to think about these charges here as we write the formula for calcium chlorate. So calcium on the periodic table is in group two. That's a two plus ionic charge. And we said that the chlorate, the whole chloride ion, has a one minus ionic charge. So these need to add up to zero for this to be a neutral compound. Calcium chlorate, that's a neutral compound. So to get that to happen, we'll need to change the subscripts. So we use something called the crisscross method. We'll move the one down here and the two out here. We don't usually write the one. Let's get rid of the charges. And then because we have this two and this three here, we have two chlorates. So we need to put parentheses around that. So that's the formula for calcium chlorate. Note that this two here means we have two chlorate ions. Let's check our work and make sure we have the charges right. Calcium we said was two plus, and this chlorate here we said was one minus. So we have two of these chlorates, two times the one minus, that's a two minus. One times the two plus, two plus, that's it. That works, the net charge is zero, and this is the formula for calcium chlorate. Let's clean it up one last time, and that's it. This is Dr. B with the formula for calcium chlorate. Thanks for watching.